hello students in today's lecture we'll see a problem on curve fitting using straight line find the equation of the best fitting straight line for the following data and hence estimate the value of dependent variable corresponding to the value 30 30 of the independent variable and they have given the value of x and y that is x values are 5 10 15 20 25 and value of y is 16 19 23 26 and 30 so here the, we have to find the values of a and b as it is and we have to prepare a equation of a straight line but here what they have said Hence, we have to estimate the value of dependent. So, y is dependent and x is independent. Dependent y is y value is dependent here. So, while applying the value for what here independent. So, at the end, we need to apply the value of x and we need to complete the problem here. So, we'll see the solution. So, as we know that here, the equation of the equation of straight line that is y is equal to a x plus b i am considering an equation number four so if they have given well and good if not we will need to consider the normal equation the normal equation to 1 that is summation y is equal to a into summation x plus n into b and multiply x to this so summation x y is equal to a into summation x square plus b into summation x I will do equation number 2 so once we get this so with the help of this we need to prepare the values of summation y summation x summation xy summation x square and value of n so value of n's are counted 1 2 3 4 5 so so here so value of n is 5 now we'll prepare a table so in this table so we have to fill the values of x so x values are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, then y values are 16, 19, 23, 26 and 30. So we need to calculate summation x and summation y. Fine. So by seeing the normal equation, we need a column for summation x y that is x y and x square. So summation I means x y five into sixteen, it is eighty. On multiplication, ten into nineteen, it is one ninety. Fifteen into twenty three, it is three forty five. Twenty into twenty six. It will be 520 and 25 into 30 it will be 750 and similarly we have to go for x square value 5 square is 25 so 10 square is 100 15 square is 225 then 20 square is 400 and 25 is 625 so we need to calculate summation xy so on adding these all values we will get 1885 then on adding all the values of x square we will get summation of x square as 1375 so these and summation x here it will be 75 summation y will be 140 so these summations value we need to apply in what here equation number two then we'll form our equations so those equations we have to solve it and 
we'll get the values of a and b now we'll apply in equation number two these values so summation y so summation y is 114 equal to a is a constant summation of x is 75 75 into a plus n value is 5 so 5 b and second equation summation xy summation xy value is 1885 equal to a into summation x square summation x square we got 1375 into a plus b into summation x summation x value is 75 so 75 into b so we'll rearrange this equation as so 75 a plus 5 b is equal to 114 and 1375 a plus 75 b is equal to 1885 so on solving this equation using calculator we will get the values of a and b so we will get the value of a and b so again put a equation mode then first one so the values of a that is 75 equal to 5 equal to 114 equal to we will go for second equation that is 1375 then next value is 75 and 1885 so equal to sign so value 7 upon 10 which is nothing but 0.7 okay the value of a we got it similarly similarly if you apply so one more time equal to sign we'll get the value of second value what we are seeing here so it is uh, value of b that is 123 upon 10 that is about 12.3 12.3 so value of a and value of b we got it so thus by substituting the values of a and b in equation 1 so it will become y is equal to 0.7x plus 12.3 so as we have seen in the question that so we need to find the value of what here uh, independent uh, dependent uh, variable corresponding to the independent variable value so independent variable here independent it is x so given at x is equal to 30 so what happens here so y is equal to 0.7 into value of x is 30 is it a plus plus 12.3 so if you multiply so on simplification it will become y is equal to so 0.7 into 30 plus 12.3 if you apply so it will become 33.3 so in this way we need to get the value of dependent variable corresponding to the value of independent variable at x is equal to 30. So in this way we need to simplify the problems based on curve fitting for the state line.